I think this was the second video I posted on my channel when I just started this channel about one year ago and that video went viral. And that video was about a popular strategy which I invented called the Strado strategy. It is a strategy which is used to trade the fundamentals. And since it is already one year ago, and you know with forex trading, things do change. And you need to be able to stay on top of the game. You need to be able to stay on the edge to be able to have the most or benefit from forex trading. So since there are some updates about that particular strategy, on this particular video, we're still going to be going vividly through the whole strategy and I'm going to be telling you guys the, all the updates you need to know. You need to watch this video to the end to be able to have the recent updates about this strategy, the recent currency pairs you need to trade, the recent news events you need to, you need to be trading, and the recent targets you need to be targeting. So make sure you stay to the end of the video. Perfect. So let's just get straight into the video. Uh, and before we even start, Let's talk about what the what is the Strado strategy. If you if you have to just go on Google and you Google search on the Strado strategy, you will see that the Strado strategy was invented purposely for option trading. And the Strado strategy just states that uh, a trader is able to make a profit on an asset whether the price goes up or down. As easy as that. All right, a trader is able to make profit from an asset whether the price goes up. Or down meaning in our case since we're going to be using it to trade the fundamentals before a particular news comes out I'm going to tell you guys the website you read that particular news before a particular news comes out we're going to go to our website at that particular point in time if the news come comes out and it's positive then we're going to be able to make money if the market goes up and if the news come out and it's negative we're going to be able to make money if the market goes down and i'll be able to show you guys how you set your target how you are able, you are able to set your stops and everything the methodology is very beginner friendly and any beginner can be able to follow these steps and start trading fundamentals now Perfect. So after defining the strategy strategy, let's talk about the websites we need. We need a couple of websites to be able to perform or to be able to carry out this strategy. You must need these websites. The first, the first website we need is investing.com. What do we need investing.com for? We need investing.com to be able to read our news because you need a website where you can be able to see what time that particular news event is coming out. Okay, just take like for example, if we can come on investing.com, you can see today, this is actually 3.30 a.m. I'm actually shooting this video 3.30 a.m. because I was up to trade this particular news event. You can see here we have the retail sales for the Australian dollar. On this website, they will show you the time the news is coming out, the expected value, everything. So I'll show you on how you can be able to use this data to place your trade. That is why I'm up and I'm using this advantage to just record the updated version of the strategy. So that is the first website we need, which is investing.com to be able to read all the news events that are coming up. The second website we need for this particular strategy is a website for us to be able to calculate the appropriate lot size to use, which in our case, we're just gonna use Hot Forex Position Calculator. The main reason why I use this, this website is just to calculate our lot size. And not to worry, I'm gonna leave the link of all these websites. I'm not affiliated to any of these websites, but they are websites that I'm using on a daily basis to make money. They're free websites. So I'm gonna leave the link to this all web to all the link of all these websites on the video description. All right. So that is the second website we're gonna be using to calculate our lot size. Then the third website we're gonna be needing is time.is. On time.is, remember when you are trading fundamentals, one second, if you miss one second, that is that one second can be the difference between you making millions in forex trading and losing millions. As easy as that. When it comes to fundamental trading, we don't joke. You don't joke. If you miss a second, that one second can just be a difference between you multiplying your account and blowing your account. So you need to be very careful. That's why we have this website that shows us our time right down to the minute. You can see on this website, it takes my IP address and you can see the time now. My time now as we speak is 42 minutes past 3 a.m. So it's 42 minutes past 3, uh, 3 a.m. And you can see my time here, they're showing it. Johannesburg, South Africa. Is picking my uh, is picking my my IP address and it shows my exact time. So if I have a news coming up at 4 a.m. my time, I'm just coming here at at 3:39. 
the next thing i'm going to be checking is the seconds maybe at one minute so you need i'll show you guys how to use this website so don't worry but that's the second website or the third website we need and then the last website we need we need an ecn forex broker we don't want all these market makers that will be able to increase the spread when the news is coming out or brokers that will be able to to put slippage and all of this manipulate their position so we need an ecn broker we need an electronic communication broker and in our, in our case, we're going to be using IC Market. So you see the link. Just use the link below to be able to sign up for an ICN or to be able to sign up for an ECN broker. The same broker I use. The same broker I'm going to be using for my live trade. That's the same one I would recommend for you to use. So you can check the link on the video description to be able to sign up for IC Market. So those are the four websites we need for this particular strategy. Perfect. Since we already know the four websites we need for this particular strategy, what news events are we going to be trading? Because if you come to investing.com, we have hundreds. Any day, let's just say something like tomorrow, right? If I don't put this particular filter here, you have hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of news events here. But how do you filter and choose the news events that you can trade? So let me just take a minute to just quickly show you how you set up your investing.com. I'm going to do a separate video where I show you guys step by step, or you can just click the link above to be able to watch a detailed video that I made on how you can be able to set and customize your investing.com. But just to vividly go through the, the economic calendar, because investing.com has a lot of tools. But let's just quickly go through the economic calendar. You need to first of all sign in with your email address, it's for free. Then you click here, you, you go under news. When you go under news, you come down to where it says economic uh, economic calendar. You can see more in news, economic calendar. You click on the economic calendar. You come down here. This page is going to open. Then you click here on filter. When you click here on filter, just select this currency pairs. The first one you're going to select, you can select Germany, you select New Zealand, you select United Kingdom, you select Australia, you select Canada, uh, the Eurozone, France, Hong Kong, Italy, Japan, uh, Singapore, Switzerland, and the United States. That is it. Those are all the currency pairs, or those are all the currencies you need to select. Beside that, on tick any other thing, you can just take a screenshot of this and you select just this particular currency pair I'm showing you on this particular uh, video. Once you already do that, you come back again to filter. Then there's another area you need to select where they call the three bulls. Because forex trading, you can see here we have three stars. This three stars stands for the level of volatility or how impactful that particular news event is going to be. So I want us to always use by news events that have high volatility. Those are the, high, the news events we're going to be trading. So how do you filter that? You come back to where they say filter, right? You come right down, just scroll right down to where they say, uh, uh, where they say importance. Under importance, click on three stars right so just click on three stars and click on apply because if you leave it the way it is it's going to be on one star if i click on one star see the let me just show you an example see see the news events we have in a day we're going to have more than 100 different news events and all of this we are not expected to trade we are not expected to trade this it's just confusion here and there so for you to be able to trade the ones i have recommended the ones i've been trading for more than seven years just go back to filter Scroll right down to where it says importance and you click on the three bulls, all right? Untick everything and click on the three bulls. And make sure you tick everything here. You click on employment data, credit balance, economic activity, central banks, bonds, inflation, and confidence index. So make sure you tick all of this because we want news events from all these particular parameters. Perfect. Then when you click on that, you are good to go. Any particular day, if a particular news is coming out, just click here, just come back to investing.com. Make sure you sign in with your email address and you just click here on today. Under economic calendar, just click on today. All right, when you click on today, you'll be able to see the news events. So as you can see here, I just recently traded uh, this Australian dollar news event. And if you want to watch the live video I just made about this particular news event, then click the link above to be able to watch that particular video. Good. So that is how you easily customize and create your filters when it comes to selecting the news event to trade. And if I want to know the news event coming up tomorrow, I just click on tomorrow. They will show me all the news events coming up tomorrow. And all the news events here are the news events you follow the filter and the, the news events you need to trade. Good. This week, I can be able to show everything that is going to happen this week. I can see everything that is going to happen next week. And even on the date, I can still come here and I select the date. Maybe a particular date. Maybe even in the past, I want to 
select a particular day to be able to see news events that were on that particular day what do i do i'll just come here and i click on that particular date and i'll be able to see that particular news event so let's click back on today and that is what you do so after customizing your investing.com and setting up all your filters i'm going to recommend some particular news events because even though if i come on this week you're going to see you can you see them we have a lot of news events but even still in this particular news events this is a strategy i have been trading for more than seven years so i'm going to recommend particular news events that will always make you money or particular news event that there is a guarantee you're going to make money from that particular news event or there is a high probability that you're going to make money from that particular news event so let me just go through my book because if i have to check on this particular book you can see here this is 2016 2016 meaning everything you see in this particular book this is data this is all my data from 2016 from 2016 all my trades and everything all the news events you can see every day i used to open this particular book if i'm trading a particular news event on that particular day this was on friday uh september 21st 2016 right and i traded this particular news so i was able to take down so i've been trading so i was doing this and taking down writing down everything usdds market soon reaching this i took down everything everything and from my summary you can see all of this is about trading all of this all of this and these are the recommendations so get your pen and paper and take the recommendations of the news events you can trade all right these are all the recommendations let me go let me quickly open the page which let's let's start with the united states dollar so when it comes to the united states dollar because on this particular let's come back to this uh, to investing.com you can see how the particular news events are arranged you have the time you have the currency you have the importance the event so these are the only things of the only thing i want you to just pay your attention the time the currency the importance and the event all these olive all these other the focus the previous and the actual the only thing you're just going to be focusing on is the actual value that is it and if and if the data comes out and is negative you're going to see it here as a red all right and if the data comes out and is positive for that particular currency pair you see it here as green as easy as that so this particular currency this particular news event for the euro was actually negative meaning if you open any currency pair that has the euro at that particular point there's a high probability you see the market going down because it was negative then this particular one on the U on the united states dollar was positive meaning at this point in time if you open your chart and check the united any currency pair that has the united states dollar as the first currency like U, uh, united states dollar jpy the market would have been going up and any currency pair that has the united states dollar as the quote currency or the secondary currency like gold which is sau usd the market would have been going down at that particular point in time all right good so when it comes to the united states dollar these are the only news events because there are many they, even though we've created our filter there are still many news events there that we won't trade so these are the only news events you trade when it comes to the united states dollar the first one is nfp nfp is the biggest fundamental news in the entire forex industry so that is the first one you need to trade which is nfp the second one is adp non-farm employment change ADP non-farm employment change. I'm going to write everything on the screen so that you can easily copy. The, second, the third one is unemployment rate. The fourth one is CPI, fifth one is GDP, and number six, crude oil. All right, crude oil. So that is that about the Australian dollar. Let's go to the Canadian dollar. Under the Canadian dollar, first one is GDP. Uh, the second one is called CPI. Third one is employment change. And the last one is called retail sales. Let's go back to Great, let's go to Great Britain Pound. The first one is manufacturing PMI. Second one, construction PMI. Third one, GDP. And the fourth one, CPI. Let's go to NZD. NZD, we have GDP, we have CPI, and we have unemployment uh, uh, unemployment data. All right? Oh, employment data. We have employment data. Let's go back to the Australian. Let's go to the Australian dollar. Under Australian dollar, we have the retail sales, unemployment change. We have the retail sales and the, the unemployment change. These are the, those are the top currency pairs that you trade their fundamentals. Besides this, any other currency pair, we, we don't have fundamentals under the New Zealand dollar or fundamentals under the Japanese yen or all of These are the top news. If you see any, news, any of these news events coming out, these are news events you can trade. Good. So after knowing the news events you can trade, let's go back now. Let's go now into the methodology. How do you trade those news events? Good. That is where the time now come into place. 
when a particular news event is coming up let's just say okay let's take like tomorrow right let's take like tomorrow tomorrow you can see on my chart the time and the news event this particular news event which is the gdp the gdp for the united states dollar is coming out remember this time is according to my time zone so when you sign in with your email the, your, your uh, investing.com is going to automatically use your ip address to show the time according to your time zone all right so this time is according to my south african time zone so this time is actually 2 30 p.m my time so 2 30 p.m my time the great britain pound data or the great britain or the gdp the gdp data for the australian dollar is going to be released and what is the data again the gdp and what currency pair is it affecting the united states dollar meaning any other currency pair that has the united states dollar you can be able to use it to trade this particular news event but i'm going to recommend currency pairs the, the currency pairs that you are still going to be able to to use so since i already know the time and that particular news event what do i do i wait out just have to wait until when it is about 10 minutes before the news is released listen about 10 minutes before the news is released that means when i come here and i see 2 20 remember the news is going to be released at 2 30 when I come here and I see 220, that is where I'm going to be going to MT5 to set my target. All right. I'm going to be going to MT5 to set my target because we need to set our target before the news is released. So that even if the news wants to go up or go down, we're still going to make money either way. All right. So you come here and if it is 220, 10 minutes before the news is released, you go back to your time.is. Remember, the news is going to be released at what? At 2.30. So I come here and if it is 2.20, remember time.is is going to even, it's more accurate than even the watch you have on your hand or even the watch on your phone. So you come here on time.is, they show you right down to the milliseconds, all right? So you come here when it's 10 minutes to the news event, you go down to your invest, you go down to your MT5 and that is where you're going to be setting your target. Okay, let's just assume we already come to investing.com. The news is going to be released at 2.30 my time. Your time is going to show your time, but we're going to be trading at the same time. We're going to be trading at the same time. Good. So the news is going to be released at 2.30. We come to investing.com and it is already 2.20. Media is 2.20. What do we do? You go back to your position size calculator. This is where you need to calculate the loss size you're going to be using. This is a very risky strategy and it is also a very profitable strategy. And we need to be able to calculate the loss size that our account can handle. So let's just assume you have a $500 account, right? You come here, account currency. You make sure you choose your account currency. Let's just assume if, I, if my account currency is in South African Rand, I'm going to put that. But since it's in USD, I choose USD. Account leverage, you put your leverage. Since I've already recommended you guys to use IC Market, or put any leverage your broker is offering. My, my own leverage is one is to 500. Tab, make sure you choose Forex. Then if you are trading something like gold, because you can still use a currency peg or you can still use gold to trade the news, make sure you come here and select on metas. And under metas, you will see SAUUSD. That's how you'll be able to select gold. But since I want to trade, let's just, since it is the United States dollar, yeah, let's, let's use gold. We can use gold to trade the United States dollar because it's SAUUSD. Or you can use Great Britain pound USD, all right? Or USD JPY. So let's, anyway, let's just say we are using Great Britain pound USD, right? Under Great Britain pound USD, make sure you select Forex here. And under Forex, you just come here and you select that particular currency, which is Great Britain pound USD. That's it. So you follow all these steps and that's it. Here we're going to be calculating the volume. We want to calculate the loss size we can use. So we're going to be calculating the volume, right? Um, our feature. So after doing that, what do we do? We just come here and we put the loss, we put the account balance. Let's just assume we're having $500. So you come here under margin and you put $500 and you click on calculate. You see, so with this particular currency pair, Great Britain Pound USD, with the leverage and everything, the maximum lot size we can use is what? Is 2.3. That's the lot size we can use. But I always advise, if you come here and you see 2.3, you can put 2.2. So that no matter what the case, your trade will be triggered, all right? So you can come here and you step down a little bit and put 2.2. Good. Since we've already known that, you go back now to your MT5. You go now to which currency pair were we calculating again or which currency pair do you want to use? We want to use Great Britain Pound USD to trade this particular news event. So you open Great Britain Pound USD and you just click on the five minute time frame. We're going to, 
this particular strategy you're going to be using the five minute time frame so you click on the five minute time frame and you just remember you start doing all of this when it's already 10 minutes before the news is need to be very fast 10 minutes before the news is released that's when you start doing this so you click on the five minute time frame and you click here where you need to put your lot size you put your 2.3 all right, that's your lot size. You put your 2.3, or oh, remember I said you put 2.2. That's the lot size you're gonna be using. Then you come here and you just click on the current market price and you take your mouse up for about 10, between, it should always be between 10 to 15 pips, all right? On this particular currency pair, you can always measure between 10 to 15 pips. But according to practice, you'll be able to find other sweet spots. But this is something that has always worked for me. So you measure, from your current market price about 10 to 15 pips so in this case let's just stand at around 13 let's just stand at around 12 pips right in forex trading there are two ways you can open a trade you can open a trade through market execution or through pending orders so in this particular strategy what we are using is we are using pending orders and the pending orders we are using are stop others like buy stop and the sell stop so that is what you just need to note and write down all right we're going to be using a buy stop and a sell stop good since you've known that the this the distance between the current market price and your buy stop or your sell stop should always be approximately 10 to 15 pips so what do you do we already have our lot size here which is 2.2 so you just come to the current market price uh, on your five minute time frame and you just you make sure you you click this circle place you know this circle place on your mouse right where the screw the screw button so you make sure you click that down so that you you can have your crosshair even if you don't click that down you can come here and you take your crosshair you'll still be able to see that but the shortcut you can just click down that circle place your crosshair is going to come out and you just hold it on the current market price and you drag it up so mine i'm going to be putting at on 15 pips i'm going to stand 15 pips from the current market price all right so when you reach there you just right click you go under trading and you put buy stop so that is our buy stop you can see that's the level there so i want us to put our sell stop before we put the stop loss and the take profit so you do the same thing you come to the current market price you drag down for 15 pips you right click there you go under trading and you put your sell stop so we have now our buy stop here and our sell stop here now let's put our target our target you you can target between uh, 30 to 50 pips depending on that particular news event all right so in this case let's target uh, 35 pips but you can target between 30 to 50 pips always target your average your average should be between 30 to 50 pips as your target but in some cases like nfp you can target up to 100 pips it's fine but you'll be able to see how the news open if your target hasn't been, been hit then you can start managing at that point in time so let's put our take profit you just right click on the position or oh, you just come here you right click on the position and you go to where it says modify under modify we're going to be putting our take profit where is take profit again that's take profit you just come back to your chart you take it up until where you see i'm going to be putting my take profit on 35 pips all right or let's just i'm going to put my take profit on 40 pips so 40 pips i'm going to read the data here on the price action on the price level so on the price axis of the chart the price there is 1.072 so i just come here and i put 1.0 1.072 and i click on modify perfect that is my take profit for that position you need to do this very fast and remember you have 10 minutes to do all of this the news is not supposed to release when you are still doing all of this so if you see that it's going to take you some time you can start doing this 15 minutes before the news is released but since i'm already experienced i used to start 10 minutes before the news is released but if you see that it's going to take you some time then you need to start doing all of this 15 minutes before the news is released but make sure none of these positions are triggered before the news is released so let's put our take profit on this post on this other position our take profit is still going to be 40 pips so we click here we go down to 40 pip 40 pip is going to be on 1.060 1.060 1.060 Zero four. So we click on modify. Good. You can see here we have our take profit here and we have our take profit here. And since this market is already pushing down to this sell stop, what do I do? I can push it down a little bit. And anytime you push it down a little bit, it is going to automatically push the stop, the, the stop, the take profit down also. That's something you need to understand. So you can always keep pushing this one a little bit to make sure the distance between the current market price 
and your buy stop or your sell stop is the same 15 pips so you can always push this up and down i can push this a little bit down again so here since we've already put our take profit and our uh, our, our take profit now we put our stop loss our stop loss is just going to be half our take profit since we are targeting 40 pips our stop loss is going to be 20 pips so you just click here uh, and you go you just click here you go under stop loss again you click on this this one and you come here you measure Remember, this is our buy stop and our sell stop is going to be 20 pips below. 20 pips is just here. So we, we make we copy this value and we put here. That is our stop loss. The same thing on the sell stop. On the sell stop, you put your stop loss to be the same thing. So that is how you set your positions. All right. That is how you set your position. Oh, I made a mistake to delete this one. Let me just put it back again so that I explain what I'm explaining. Just, so I made a mistake to delete that one. Let me just put that one again. 74, 74. So that is how you are able to set your buy stop and your sell stop. You can see at this point in time, what I'm just gonna keep doing, I just I just have to rush back to this website to see what time I have left, all right? So you just keep doing this. You just need to start coming back to this website to see what time you have left. If you see that I still have about two minutes left or one minute or three minutes, you come back again. So you keep swapping between MT5 and this website. You come back to MT5, make sure none of the positions are triggered. If the market start pushing up to this particular position, I'm just gonna quickly just come here, click on that particular says uh, buy stop and I take it up a little bit. Can you see? I take it up a little bit. I click on this one and I take it down. I just make sure I keep making measuring the distance between the current market price and it has to be 15 pips that is what i just keep doing and what will happen when the news is released when the news is actually released let's come back to investing.com let's just assume the news tomorrow comes out and it's positive and here you see green if the value here is green it means the the united states dollar is going to be positive all right if the value here is green it means any currency pair that has the united states dollar as the first currency is going to be going up and any currency pair that has the united states dollar as a quote currency or the secondary currency is going to be going down all right so in our case we have the united states dollar which has the united states uh, we have great britain pound usd which has the united states dollar as the quote currency or the secondary currency you can see usd is the secondary currency not the base currency so in this case if the data comes out tomorrow and is positive then we should expect this chart to instead be going down if the chart is going down which of our position is going to be triggered our sell stop is going to be triggered all right if the chart is going there remember the news is going to come out and you see something like this you see something like this the market is going to go like boom if, it, if it's positive you see something like this immediately so by the time the news is already shooting down like this it's going to trigger this position at this at this point in time the news this position is going to be triggered somewhere here so at this point we're going to be in the trade can you see how sweet can you see how amazing this strategy is so at this point where the news has triggered this particular sell stop we're going to already be in the trade can you see? And our take profit is here. Sometimes my take profit used to be hit within a minute. Within two minute max, you've already hit your take profit. And what if the news instead comes out and it's negative for the United States dollar? Then we should expect the market to shoot up. And if the market shoot up, we also have a trap, which is our buy stop. Our buy stop is going to be triggered somewhere here. Can you see this? Our buy stop is going to be triggered somewhere here and we're still going to be able to make money. Whether the market goes up or down, we're not, we're not going to be wasting our time trying to predict where the market is going to go, try to do all of this. If the market goes up or down, we're going to make money either way. So that is that about the strategy, guys. That is that about the strategy. And if you're trading a particular news event, if the news is released and after five minutes, the news is not too impactful or none of your positions have been triggered, then you have to delete both positions. That is all about the strategy. So you follow the currency pairs, which I have recommended. You, The first thing you need to do is to go on your investing.com. You see where the, you see when the particular news is going to be released. You get prepared. If you have a calendar, what I used to do is before the week starts i used to just go on investing.com let me show you this this is what i used to do before the week start i used to go on investing.com and i'll just click on this week all right when i click on this week i'll start on monday i'll see that okay on monday i have i'll see on sunday i skip on monday i'll see that i have german info no i don't trade this economic i don't trade this i skip to tuesday on tuesday fetch here i don't trade this i go down call durable retail sales yes that is something i recommended so all the news events that i recommended anyone that you see here on that particular day you write it down on the time all right you write it down on the time so that once 
it is that day of the news. You already have it on your calendar that I'm going to be trading it at this point in time. Because you can't miss that particular second. You can't miss that particular minute. All right? So you write it down. And on that particular day, you just come here. You see the time. About 15 minutes or 10 minutes before the news is released. You go back to your position size calculator. You calculate the loss size you're going to be using on that particular trade. I've shown you guys how to do it. Then you go back to your MT5. You go, you go to where you want to put your loss size. You put your particular loss size. You come back to the current market price. You measure, you put your, your, your stop orders. We're going to be using the buy stop and the sell stop. Your buy stop is going to be between 10 to 15 pips from the current market price. And your sell stop is going to be between 10 to 15 pips from your current market price. Your take profit is between 30 to 50 pips on both orders. And your stop loss is half of your take profit. All right? That is it. Once the news is released, once you've already done that, you just keep shifting your stop loss up and down. You just keep shifting your stop orders, your buy and sell orders up and down to make sure that none of those positions should be triggered before the news is released that's something you need to know of the positions and once the news is released anyway the market wants to go whether it wants to go up or down we're going to be able to make money either way so if you want to be able to use the same broker i use on this particular trade make sure you check the, the description you check the link on the video description and if you want to join golov university where we're going to be able to teach you most of these things from a to z teach you for us from a to z then check the link on the video description to be able to join god love university if you have gotten some value from the video so far make sure you smash the thumb up make sure you smash the like button on the video let's get the video to at least 5,000 likes and if you have any question i mean any question about this particular strategy let me know on the comment section of the video and i promise i'm going to personally reply to all the questions on this particular video check out this video which is the first live example i made with this particular strategy also check out this video which is another secondary live example which i made with the strategy click here to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and i'll see you guys on these other videos peace